It is definitely safe to say that 2019 was not a great year for Boeing because of these issues with the 737 MAX. The, the American-based aviation manufacturer has been going through what could be its worst crisis in its history. While Boeing is working to get the 737 MAX back into the air, in what could be a clean slate for 2020, the Boeing 777X took its first flight as its testing phase is going through the initial beginnings for the first scheduled deliveries in 2021. While you may or may not like Boeing as a company, this is definitely exciting news for the aviation industry, especially for long-haul aircraft development. This video will highlight what you need to know about the 777X project as well as how it could impact the aviation landscape, especially in long-haul travel. As a response to the Airbus A350 WXB, the 777X is the newest version of the popular 777 family of aircraft, which will incorporate technologies currently used on the Boeing 787s. Development for the project began in 2011, and marketing for the aircraft began in 2012 and 2013 with Lufthansa being the launch customer. While Boeing would have wanted to launch the aircraft much earlier, there have been two major delays affecting the aircraft's delivery schedule. The first surrounding the large GE-9X engines that were to be used for the aircraft, and a structural failure during stress tests on the aircraft, adding more problems to Boeing's plate in 2019. As the work to develop the aircraft continues, the highly anticipated first flight took place just last week, taking off from Payne Field in Everett, Washington and landing at Boeing Field near Seattle. Among the new features that Boeing is marketing with the aircraft, such as better fuel efficiency compared to the older 777-300ER, and despite the larger size, the aircraft will have foldable wingtips, making the 777X the first commercial aircraft to feature this. The larger 777 will feature a typical configuration of around 380 to 436 seats, though this could be higher if it's a one-class configuration, and a much larger capacity for cargo compared to the 787s and the Airbus A350 WXBs. In terms of the range of the aircraft, it could go over 16,000 kilometers, though it will have a small advantage compared to the Airbus A350 1000s. In terms of cost per unit, it will be substantially higher compared to the 787 and Airbus A350 WXBs with a list price of anywhere between 410 to 440 million US dollars per unit. By looking at some of the information provided for these aircraft, you can tell that this aircraft could be utilized for ultra long haul flights or those flights using Boeing 747s, A380s or 777s making it ideal for long-haul flights operated by full-service carriers who also have aging fleets of 777s or 747s as well as older long-haul aircraft. This could also be seen by who has ordered the aircraft as Boeing has received over 300 orders for the 777X, which very much is a who's who of transcontinental travel, which include Lufthansa, Etihad, Emirates, Qatar Airways, Al Nippon Airways, Singapore Airlines, and British Airways. Among the largest customers is Emirates with around 115 and Qatar Airways with 60. And it's very telling that the likes of Emirates is hedging its futures on this aircraft given that it's a major airline marketing connections using Boeing 777 aircraft throughout its network. With the added capacity, it could be ideal for Asian Airlines and be the equivalent of the A321 XLR for short haul and medium travel. And with the growing scarcity of flight slots being available at Asian airports, Boeing is probably going to be doing a lot of pitches for these Asian carriers who do use wide body aircraft including Boeing 747s for domestic or short haul regional flights. This could include All Nippon Airways' local rival Japan Airlines, which like ANA also uses 787s and 777s and recently introduced Airbus A350s in its domestic network. Other potential future orders could also include Korean Air and Asiana, which could be eyeing future replacements for their older 777s that are reaching the age of nearly two decades of service. Another airline that could join the ranks of ordering these aircraft could be Philippine Airlines, which has some of its older 777s reaching nearly over 10 years of service. Unlike some other airlines, Philippine Airlines may wait to order this aircraft within the next 5 years. With the popularity of the 777 family of aircraft being used on long-haul flights and including flights in Asia, it's likely that this aircraft will be the replacement for many of the older 777s that many of the airlines will have and likely the non-Asian airlines that have also ordered this aircraft will likely use them on 
major city routes to Asia such as those to Seoul, Tokyo, Singapore, or Beijing. Though Airbus will probably beg to differ with the offering of the A350 which happened to be selected by the Project Sunrise operation by Qantas for its future plans for ultra long haul flights. In terms of the long haul game, Boeing arguably has an advantage with the 777 and 787 products and it's definitely going to market heavily in Asia to secure the popularity of the 777 among travelers and airlines. What are your thoughts on the Boeing 777X project and how do you see the future of the 777 family in Asia and beyond? Thank you for watching. This has been another edition of Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene from the Asia Pacific. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.